Hello and welcome back to another game of EVE Online. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of gas mining. Um, first things to cover are the ships that we have. We have two Ventures and one Imicus which need to be named. So feel free to submit your name suggestions in the comments below. And one will be picked at random. The uh, new, this is brand new. I did this just now before I came on and purchased a new gas mining venture. So I saved about a half hour, 45 minutes, and built a new uh, fit for the gas mining. So we'll take a look at that in brief coming up here, but we need to name the ship we're currently in, which is the gas ship, this one. We have another mining venture, which we need in a name, and then the Imicus, which looks like your typical sea captain, kind of, really, kind of one of those horribly ugly ships. Uh, one of the ugliest ships in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, if I could just remember which one of these <laughs> was the mining one and which one was the yeah see what happens when i don't name them right off the... okay this is the mining ship so we want the other one which is her here and as you can see this ship is listed at 11.8 million i paid somewhere in the neighborhood of 15. um these prices are only suggested but the market was elevated, so we ended up paying more for it. It's got two Gus Cloud Scoop 1s, a core probe launcher with, obviously, core probes for scanning. It has small capacitor upgrades, a multi-spectrum shield, a MN... a 5MN micro-warp drive, F90 compact sensor booster, with script, which makes it kind of harder for things to lock on, and a warp scrambler so that we can, or not a warp scrambler, but a uh, compensation uh, helps us get away from people trying to tackle us. And that was basically the fit. Now, the interesting part about this, I am not what you would call a die-hard gas miner. In fact, I've only ever done this one other time. And that was on the test mission that I did just before this to see if I knew how I was going to go about doing this. And we're going to kind of learn together, but the process is pretty simple as long as you follow some basic procedures and um, don't panic. Once you get to a gas cloud in a wormhole, you're going to need to be relatively quick you have maybe 15 to 20 minutes before NPC shows up of course you could also have a PC show up which would be even worse because they can lock onto you and blow you up even faster so let's get this underway we got to go scan down or try to find a cosmic signature which gives us a wormhole so that we can go to wormhole space to scan down even more um, gas sites so this may take a little bit but this is the way we do it and you can make pretty good. I got uh, about 1,500 M3, and that's about estimated 8 million. It took me about 15 minutes, and that wasn't even a full mining hold full. I had to leave because the rats showed up, NPC rats. Now, we're here, and we are going to a wormhole. Yay. Already insured, good to go, solid. So let's get that done. We will undock. Some of the best disc in the game. Always bookmark set destination to your station.
All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is find a random anomaly, go to a training site or someplace in the middle of nowhere, work within 100, and then what I'm gonna do is deploy Actually, I should go to the next system over, because this is the system I did the last one in. Yeah, we'll go one system over. So we'll land here, and then we'll just go to... Uh... This place. <laughs> we'll go there. Head away. Drive active. Yeah. Um, I never really got much into gas mining. Huffing is what we call it. A lot of people did. What we're doing now is technically considered ninja huffing, I believe, which means basically we're going into somebody's space and we're going to be taking out of their wormhole. Well, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of structures in that space. Alright, so let's warp to the sun in the system. Uh, sun. Within 100? Warp drive active. Oh, that might be why. Now, I'm trying to think, because it sounds to me like my audio is a little muddled, but I am listening to two sets of headphones so that I can kind of get a better audio bead, but yeah. Hey, let me know how the audio is. Sounds a little better now that I adjusted it. So we're here at the sun. Very bright, very shiny, very sunny. And we click a random spot in space, and we kick on our afterburner for a couple cycles so that we can get some distance from where we warped in. The reason why we did that is so that we can have some space in case something comes up and tries to kill us while we're scanning, because it may take a little bit of time, and I don't like to be exactly where I warp in. That's because but that's where everybody will land. So here we are, um, we're shutting off the afterburner, and then we're going to be deploying our probes. Yes, this involves scanning. My arch nemesis, nemesis, nem nemesis, nemesis, any one of them. So let's deploy our probe scanner. And you just go down here to the little radar looking thing. Click here and then go probe. And that gives you this. So, we have the option of doing the pinpoint formation, which I would recommend. And that deployed that to there. We have one cosmic signature. Now, I learned a little cool thing earlier about how this actually functions, and I don't need to use these little toggles at the bottom of the map. Remember I showed you in the last video how to do this with the side view, top view? Well, there's another way to do it. So. We want to move this, we click the box, we drag it over to this X here, because we have this highlighted here. That gave us a red bubble. We move it over. Now if we want to look at the side view, instead of going down here and clicking side view, which we could do by that, just double click in space, and it turns it. Now to the top, that'll do the side. It saves a little time. So our top view is good, our side view is good, now we will rescan or analyze, and maybe that will give us a lock on our cosmic signature. With any luck, it'll be a wormhole. And it is 9.5%. Oh, okay, so we have one of these scan deviations. Uh, now the rule is that it's the farthest one away. I don't know if that's true or not, because I don't know if that's true or not. So let's zoom out a little. But they say that <laughs> no matter what it is, it's usually the farthest one away. I will believe them. 
they, the people who do this, and make a huge amount of money doing it. And then we reanalyze, take a few seconds for it to scan, move the probes, and then maybe this will be... Ah, uh, Serpentis Hideaway. Well, we found one of them. That is a wormhole. So, that's what we wanted. We move this a little closer. You can also just hold down the regular mouse and drag it up and down, which is what I'm doing here. Now, if you hold down Alt, it gives you these little icons. You can drag it in. That reduces the size of the scan radius, which increases the concentration of your probes. And you will notice that's pretty good. We will scan again. Be more focused. It will give us a higher signal strength. We're at 33.3%, probably repeating into infinity. That's just the way math usually works with me. And not a narcotics place. And we are now at double that, so it's 60. Some of these are respawning in here. Interesting. Okay, so we grab the little arrow, we slide it a little bit this way, we grab that arrow, we slide it a little bit this way, we double click, we go just a little down, a little up, center it, and then we decrease the size one more. And we just make sure we're good to go, looks like it, hit analyze, and we are off. Wow, zoom too quick a little scanner bubble. And we have a lock. We have the ability to recall our probes, which is what we're going to do. So, right over here. Recover active probes. We have our site. We are going to right click. We are going to save location. We are going to call this um, Wormhole. Wormhole entrance. We're going to keep it here for two days, even though we won't be going back probably. And that will bookmark this spot so we don't have to scan it down later, should we somehow or for some reason lose it. Now I've recalled my probes, which is a good thing. Otherwise, you end up buying more probes, which Although they're not incredibly expensive, unless you get some, like, uh, sister probes. Those are really nice. Top tier, um, quality probes. Very expensive. We're here. We right click. We warp to... I usually do it within 50, just in case something is sitting. Warp drive active. And we close this window. Our probes are already in. This is already reloaded because I set this to auto reload on in the last episode which you should go back and watch because it's awesome so here we are here I don't see anything actual like visible doesn't mean anything could be a cloaked ship here we want to enter, so what we're going to do is kick in our after or our micro uh, warp drive, not the afterburner. We're going to run this cycle, one more cycle, and then shut that off. Make sure this has enter. So as soon as we hit here, we're going to warp in, and then we'll be cloaked on the other side. Hopefully, there'll be nothing there. And we went into the wormhole. So now we are going to hopefully J space. Yep, J space. So we are in wormhole space. Nothing apparent around here. Um, that's not good. Okay, so... Yeah. Somebody's out and scanning. extra drones, or extra scanner probes, just in case we lose them. 
All right, we better turn around. First thing you do when you come through a wormhole, you find the wormhole, you right click it, you save the location and you call it wormhole and then E X I T in big letters and you save that location. So if you end up losing your probes or something to that effect, you can find your way back. And I have to sneeze. Hang on. Sorry about that. Little popping sound. Um, so we're here. We're probably going to decloak. We have decloaked. We are on the wormhole. Not a good place to be. Let's go to the sun. So we are going to warp to sun within 100. Warp drive active. Our bookmark is there. Exit. Very clearly marked capital E-X-I-T, so you cannot mistake where you're going with that. Now we're going to land on the sun, and we're going to fly away as soon as we land. And now we're going to go that direction. That direction. Quickly. We are going to scan. We definitely have scanner probes. These are sister core probes. So somebody else is in here. Let me go with um, deploy probes to do the scanning. Cosmic signature here, cosmic signature here. So let's start with the one on the closer side. We want to launch in a close pattern. Move it down, move it over. Move it down. Analyze. Now this is a directional scanner. I'll show you how I do that in a minute. Okay, so 4.3, we got to move this again to there, roughly. And... Uh, let's try a little smaller, maybe. Zoom in. You're looking pretty centered. Analyze again. Okay, this tells me who is in this area. Could be these are abandoned. Or somebody lost them. Which is possible. Now we're at 10%. So let's click up, move it over. Move it down just a little bit. Maybe make it a little smaller. Scan. Scanning an eye, not good trend. Don't ever talk in local when you are in J space and wormhole space, they, they can't tell that you're here unless you say something, then they'll start looking for you actively. So it's just best practice to not talk in local. And basically what we're doing here is repeating the process of trying to scan down the site, which is being kind of a bugger, although we have increased it to 17%. better. Looking pretty good. So let's reduce the size even more. Looking good. Analyze. Nothing right on top of me. Click a zap here. A 
directional scanner can be found right here. And then you can use a pop out using this little button here, which then you drag it over and put it on the side like I did. Now we are at 54%. Let's go down a little. Rescan again. Probably not going to help us a whole lot, but you never know. No, oh, it's a relic site. I don't want a relic site. Although I did get 66%. So the other cosmic signature location out here. Move that over there. Go up a little. Scan. Might be a little too small to determine what's going on, but... That's a big bubble for a little scan area. Yeah, didn't quite have enough zoom. So we're going to grab this and... Oops, maybe we're going to grab that. Make it bigger. Now we're going to analyze. We've got to go through the whole process again. It moved. <laughs> Shocker. Okay. Go down. We're going to reduce the size by one step. By one step. And analyze again. I prefer to be in and out of here as quick as humanly possible. And I do not want to do that maximization or the minimization. I didn't want to minimize that. I wanted to float that. Okay, so it moved again. Adjust. Adjust. Scan. Is another wormhole. Interesting, but not what we want. So we have another cosmic signature. In here. So my screen will stop doing that. That would be great. Let's see if I can pick that up there. Maybe move this up a little. Let's see if I zoom that out. Yeah, this is the tedious part. And part of the reason why I do not like doing scanning. <laughs> it takes my eyes off of what's going around me because I have a hard time multitasking on a really small screen. Um, Got to scan there and see what happens. Because there's these two, it could be this one or that one. I assumed it was this one. Four point two percent. We'll assume it's the farthest one. Move that up. So rescan. Fifteen percent. Uh, again, with the radio button thing. Let's zoom this in one step. And was taking way too long. Twenty-four. This is a gas light. I want that. Which 
adjust this a little bit better. Double click, raise up if I can get away from all of this interior hoopla. Kind of okay-ish. Don't have to be exact, but can't hurt, right? Reanalyze. In order to get that scale, I'm holding the Alt key and then dragging that little mouse icon or the pointer in toward the center. Gas sight, 29%, 55%. So, yeah. Double click. A bit lower. Step in, reanalyze, check my D scan. Make me nervous, but no. Okay. Alright, so we have. This gas site. Right click this, save location. Gas one for two days. We then recall our probe so that people will be less likely to see us. We then close this window. We right click on our ship. We go to. Uh, oh, actually, just open up the radio by holding the button down, click plus, go to the tack. And we're going to put um, E. There we go. Emergency warp. And we're going to need that for two days. This is on our emergency warp spot. So right here we have established a bookmark in the middle of nowhere right off the sun. If somebody shows up when we're doing our gas mining, we right click in space, go down here to uh, emergency warp, and that will take us to here. Or we can warp directly from our gas site to the wormhole exit and try and get out that way. So we have option. Now we're at the gas site. We have recovered our probes, right? We got eight here. We got eight in our inventory. Yep. Go to our mining hold. Got to be within 1500. We go to gas one, warp two within 50. Warp drive active. Just in case there's somebody there, we can try and warp away. Look when I land on grid under general. So let's see if there's somebody there. If there's somebody there, right click and warp fast away. There are people here. They are NPCs. And we want to emergency warp away. So here, emergency warp, emergency warp, warp zero. We do not want to get into it with them. Them, those are the NPCs. Run away, run away, run away. They're 50 off. I should be able to get away easy. Okay. Those are the NPCs. This takes us back to our emergency warp. Now, since uh, gas site one was occupied by NPCs, we have other cosmic signatures here, which possibly might be gas sites. We don't know. So we're going to have to scan them down. So let's relaunch our probes. Where is my probe launch? Launch in pinpoint formation. And scan. Those are my scanner probes. Sister probes are gone. Hmm. Interesting. Let's 
so that's real exciting. This we don't know what it is yet, but we're gonna try and find out. Zoom in a little, maybe, if I can grab one of them. Do a D-scan. Okay, so this is a wormhole. Don't want that. Move that over here. Move it up a little. Scan. Mm-hmm. There's some kind of corporation in here. That's why we call it Ninja Mining. Uh, don't see combat probes, so that's a good thing. Again, 15.5%. Uh, nothing right on top of me. Do not be afraid to abandon your probes if you need to. 16%. Make it a little smaller. Rescan. D scan. Okay, core. Relic site. Don't want that. Next one up is this one here. So this is exploration. Hmm. Let's increase the size a little bit. Maybe. Try and get a better view of what's going on there. If you can afford the sister probes and you can get them, definitely the way to go. Increase your ability to scan things down. Double click and slide. Because I want to, I'm going to reduce my scan radius a little bit and then reanalyze. That's doing that. I'm going to descan. See what we got going on here. This is a gas cloud site. Right click, save location, gas 2. For two days. Hopefully, there'll be nobody there. So let's go, we will, I mean we could rescan it down, but I'm kind of not wanting to hang out. So recover probes, close window, 
we are already at our location, so emergency, we're going to gas 2, warp 2 within 50. Yes, thank you very much for the warning. So let's go into the gas site. There's somebody in the gas site, we warp back to our emergency warp out. Doesn't appear to be anybody here. Apparently there's a cloud right there. Can we engage our gas miners? Alright, let's do scan. If you want to hit V with the D scanners out, that will do the same thing. He's hitting this button here. So what we're taking a look at now is we got 20. We already had 172 grand, so uh, each one gives 10. Looking at about 172,000 per 25 seconds. So that's what we're making pulling gas. So not bad, about 200,000 every 30 seconds. Got this on. That increases my gravimetric strength, my radar, my uh, magnetometric, and my radar strength. Which is good. To be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure exactly what all of that means, although I'm told that it makes it harder for me to get scanned down and helps me find stuff, so... That's what I learned from Rabbi Google. So yeah, this is what we're doing. We're huffing gas. And we are at 8 already, and we're at just over half a million. We've only been here for... A little bit of time. Scanning in. I general rule of thumb that I usually try to follow is I like to scan once per cycle. This is a 25 second cycle for me. And I'm a new character. So let me just take a look at the information. Yeah, 24 seconds per cycle. So every 24 seconds we're getting 40. 20 per siphon or scoop and if any red shows up over here oh 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 no okay we're good that's just a control tower we're at 120 and 1.03 million. And we haven't been here for very long. And this is basically it for gas mining. One of the more higher profit um, ventures that you can do in EVE for a starting character. If you want to make more money quicker, this is a good way to do it. It's also a good way to get blown up if you don't know what you're doing and you don't follow the proper procedure. Like, when you come into the wormhole, you bookmark the wormhole. So, okay, by the way, it's 10 per scoop. So it's a total of 20, not a total of 40. So I get 20 every 25 seconds. Um, oh shit. I think we need to run away and I am going to die. Emergency work. Was that a sterile? All 
I'm not dead. My ship is dead. Now he'll be scanning me down. Um, we need to take this location, go to exit wormhole zero. Web drive active. See if I can get out of here without dying. Yeah, I made it out, but. That's how you lose 15 million the quick way. Yeah. Let's go to... Return. Web drive active. Yeah, that guy had a cloak on, he was just waiting for me. I clicked the wrong button or didn't respond quick enough and before I could get my ship out of there, he blew me up. I should have been able to get out of there. Misclicked a couple times, ended up losing my ship. I'm sure this is somebody taunting me. No, nope, I may not. We'll check the mail in just a second here as soon as we dock up. And that we know the perils of gas mining. High risk, high reward. We threw the dice. Docking permission request. We lost. Docking request accepted. So we're docked up. We're basically going to be safe now that we're in the dock. Let's see what we got going on here for mail. Somebody wants me to join their corporation. Trash. <laughs> All right, kill report. Uh, that's the mail I just got from them. I don't want to see that again. Kill report. Here I am. My ship was killed by... Really? Chance? Really? Chance? This isn't him, but it's a member of his corporation. Um, Chance Ravine and his company is, our corporation is Wingspan uh, Delivery Services. And they delivered me some missiles today. So, yeah, I, I'm going to have to... to, to definitely give them the uh, the message um, 07 which is a salute um, thank you for your um, Thank you for your torpedo delivery. It was all I have come. Oops, Carolyn. 
07, not 07. Thank you for your torpedo delivery. It was all I have... It was all I have come to expect from Wingspan. And we will send that off. To them. Yeah, um, they have actually... Chance Ravine has his own YouTube channel, and that is actually quite good. You want to know about wormholes and how to do things, I'm actually survived, or lucky that I survived, because um, Wingspan doesn't usually make mistakes. <laughs> They're very good at what they do. Um, yeah, that's off to Wingspan for their successful torpedo delivery. I am going to probably end up here because basically I need to figure out how to replace my ship. But um, in the future, you know, you can go back and you can reference what went right, what went wrong, right up to the end. What we did wrong was we got a little bit too comfortable. We, I knew there was something going on with those probes. I should have probably gone to another system. But I didn't. And we learned our lesson. So, remember, no matter where you go, there you are. Talk to you next time. Make sure to go back and watch the old videos. And make your comments, suggestions for the new names for the ships down in the comment section below. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned a lot. And if you didn't, I'm not doing a very good job. Bye.